Hello, my name is Charles Hunt from Able Safety Consulting, and welcome to the Crystalline Silica Hazard Awareness Course. Crystalline silica is an important material used in a wide variety of industries, including construction operations, such as in the production of glass and ceramics, as a filter for water and sewage, sandblasting operations, and the production of cement. While silica has many valuable uses, it can also be dangerous when workers are exposed to excessive amounts of respirable crystalline silica dust so much so that hundreds of deaths and thousands of illnesses are attributed to the harmful effects of respirable crystalline silica each year. In response to the deaths and the illnesses attributed to exposure to crystalline silica dust, OSHA, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, has put regulations in place for general industry, maritime operations, and the construction industry. These regulations are titled the Occupational Exposure to Respirable Crystalline Silica. During this course, we will review some of the key requirements from these regulations as well as some safe work practices that may be used to protect yourself, your coworkers, your employees from the harmful effects of crystalline silica. Let us begin with getting to know exactly what crystalline silica is. Crystalline silica is also known as silicon dioxide, or the chemical formula SiO2. Crystalline silica is found abundantly in the Earth's crust. Quartz, the most common form of silica, is a component of sand, stone, rock, concrete, brick, block, and mortar. Materials containing quartz are also found in a wide variety of workplaces. The two other forms of silica are cristobalite and tritomite. All these forms of silica become hazardous when very small particles are inhaled into the lungs. OSHA refers to this type of inhalable silica dust as respirable crystalline silica. Anytime you hear respirable crystalline silica, it refers to the silica dust that could be inhaled through the lungs. Occupational exposure to respirable crystalline silica occurs when cutting, sawing, crushing, concrete, brick, ceramic tiles, rock, stone, and other products. Occupational exposure also occurs in operations that process or use large quantities of sand, such as a foundry. This type of silica dust has particles so small that it cannot be seen with the naked eye. This is why precautions should always be taken to properly protect yourself from harmful levels of exposure. 